Well, the 110cc scooter segment has a lot of scooters uh, as an option for you. You have the Activa, you have the Dio, and you also have the Jupiter. But none of them are very sporty in character or in looks. Hero has launched their Zoom, which they claim is a more sporty, a more peppy scooter. And in my opinion, it does look the part. In this video, we're going to tell you everything about the scooter, the design, how it rides, how it feels, what is the riding comfort, and what is the power, and also the prices. So stay till the end of the video so that you get all the details. And for more detailed review videos, subscribe to Motorrides, press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload our videos. So let's get started. To start off, let's talk about the design. Well, I've done a detailed walk around of the scooter when it was launched yesterday. And uh, you can check out that video in the I button. But I'm right now, I'm just going to point out a few highlights so that you don't know what is good in this new scooter. Now, firstly, the design, it is very sporty. It does look very sporty. It has sporty colors. All the scooters come with dual tone. Now, this one right here is a blue and black. There are uh, four more colors which get the du dual tone treatment. Now, the at the front itself, the handle unit, it looks like a praying mantis. It has been rightly pointed out by a few of our viewers and it does look like a praying mantis. Uh, and you get these turn indicators right on the head itself. And these are bulbs, these are not LEDs. <clears throat> you also get a small visor piece right here, which again enhances the sporty character of the scooter. And this right here is black fiber. Uh, you don't get this piano black finish. You get piano black finish here on the apron. And right here <laughs> is the signature H LED DRL. And hidden right here are the projector headlamps. Now what's new on this scooter are these. These are not turn indicators. These are cornering lamps. This is a segment first, industry first feature. No other scooter in India has this feature. So whenever you turn the scooter, the lamps will light up. They work just like cornering lamps on a car. You get telescopic forks for the suspension and this massive 12 inch wheel 90 by 94 the front uh, the rear tire is a little wider i'll tell you when we get there and you also get disc brakes up front coming to the side uh, you'll see that the scooter is wide you have a longer wheelbase so that your ride is much more comfortable you have a long seat but it is narrow as well but it should be quite comfortable for a pillion and the rider as well now since the seat is narrow shorter riders will also find it easier to put their feet on the ground <clears throat> and as you will observe there is no grab rail here so there is no support for uh, the pillion so if there was a grab rail or like a support it would have been better or the pillion can however hold on to this indent right here there is a crevice right here where you can put your fingers in and you can hold on to the scooter and at the rear you get this nice again the signature h led tail lamp flanked by two bulb uh, turn indicators oh now let's take a look at the instrument console uh, here you have a small screen which is backlit this is blue color for the top zx variant the VX gets an amber light and the LX gets a DG analog meter, uh, which does not have Bluetooth and it is not backlit as well. You get Bluetooth connectivity, which gives you caller ID, SMS updates, and obviously you get your telltale lights, uh, low fuel indicator, and you get the phone battery indicator as well. Talking about the handlebar, you have the light controls here. Uh, these are the turn indicators and this is the horn and this is what it sounds like. On this side, you have the uh, engine cutoff as well as the engine start-stop uh, function. This is the i3s technology that you see in the Hero Splendor and other Hero uh, two-wheelers. So what happens is at, if you stopped at a signal or you've stopped the uh, scooter, the engine will cut off automatically and then you can get a move on by hitting the brake or twisting the accelerator a little bit. And this is the ignition. This right here is the key. Now the key does not give you the function to open the boot. So you have to take the key out and then open the boot. Now right here you have a big boot. It will fit a small size full face helmet. And obviously the half helmets can fit here easily. Uh, this also has a lamp in here. So in the night you can see uh, you get good visibility of what's happening in the boot space. Now the fuel filler is here 
and the fuel time capacity is 5.2 liters. Uh, another miss, this, if this would have been uh, on the outside like the Maestro, it would have been much more convenient owing to the fact that you need to use a key to open the boot. So at a fuel station, you'll have to park the bike, op take the key out, open the boot and then fill fuel. Talking about some more storage space, right here you get deep pockets at the front so you can hold uh, water bottles, you can hold your phone and other stuff. And uh, if you're keeping your phone here, you can also charge it. There is a USB charging socket hidden well right here. So you can just plug in your phone and it will charge your phone as well. Right here you also get a hook which goes in and out. So it's hidden when you're not, in, not using it and you can pull it out and you can hang your grocery shopping here. Uh, the floorboard is not very wide and it's uh, it's got very limited space so obviously you can't move gas cylinders here but it is enough for keeping your feet at you can rest your feet easily you have enough space for that and it will also hold probably a small backpack. Now the mirrors uh, they are very short and uh, while they are wide right here the stock is very short I would have uh, liked it if it was a little taller because visibility becomes a little difficult uh, with this when I was riding I would have to tilt my head a little bit to get a proper view so if it was a little taller it would have been much better we, we would have got better visibility and I think Hero can still make the change uh, because it's just um, a small design change also for the pillion you have this nice metallic footrests and they have a very reassuring click so they when they are in place very strong so you get enough space uh, so they have proper space to keep their feet at so that's the design and overall practicality of the hero zoom now let me tell you what it rides like because we did, did take a good uh, 50 kilometer ride and we were able to ride it in traffic we were able to ride it on the highway i can tell you a lot about the scooter from that short ride now, first things first, uh, this is a 110cc motor. It's the same motor that has been used in the Maestro, but it has been tuned, uh, it has been tuned to deliver more power and better acceleration. Now, this scooter can put out 8.05 PS of power, which is segment leading. It is the most powerful scooter in this segment right now, and it puts out 8.7 Newton meters of torque. So acceleration is very good. Hero claims that zero to 60 can be done in 9.97 seconds. Uh, we were not able to time it because uh, we were riding on um, we were not riding on controlled roads but we were riding on the highways and all so we were not able to time it but when we get the scooter for a more comprehensive test and review we will be testing that as well the top speed that i could achieve with my weight uh, is about 89 kilometers mm -hmm. to the liter uh, some riders uh, who are lighter can go up to 92 93 very easily now another highlight on this scooter are those uh, 12 inch wheels. Now I missed out on telling you the size of the rear wheel. It's a 12 inch, it's a 100 by 80 section tire. So it's a little wider. And now because the tires are bigger and wider, it gives a lot of confidence when you're riding on the road. The ride is pretty uh, comfortable. The suspension is set up a little stiff because it is a sporty scooter to give it the sporty character. The suspension is a little stiff. So the bigger bumps and uh, the bigger potholes, those you will feel. But overall, riding in the city, uh, riding on the highway, it was very, very comfortable. The scooter is very agile and maneuvering through traffic is going to be very easy with this. And uh, in my ride through the traffic, I was able to maneuver the scooter very easily. It's very agile. It's very quick on its feet. And it is indeed a very quick scooter. The power and torque is enough to keep you smiling and have a little fun on the road. It's very stable on the corners as well. I was able to uh, do some corners and the tires are very grippy so you uh, can be rest assured while you're cornering. So the rear tire does not uh, give away and you have a lot of confidence while going into the corners. So yes, you can definitely have a little fun with this scooter overall. Uh, speaking about mileage, uh, it was a short ride, we were not able to test that, but uh, in my opinion it should be somewhere in the 50 to 55 range given that this is a more powerful motor and uh, it does produce power quickly and you get a move on quickly as well. So if you are riding in the city lightly, you would uh, get a little more mileage, but uh, if you go hard, you're having fun, uh, it should be somewhere uh, in the 50 kmpl mark. 
Now, talking about the segment first and segment leader features that Hero told us about, the tyres definitely help the scooter a lot in terms of the ride comfort and the handling. The handling is really very, very good. Uh, the braking, uh, I noticed that uh, the braking could have been a little uh, better. Uh, the initial bite is kind of lacking and uh, if you're riding very fast, coming to a halt very quickly won't be possible. The braking is very gradual. So you have to keep that in mind while you're riding very fast. So, yeah, the braking can be improved a little bit. Um, another thing that can be improved is the positioning of the mirrors. And another highlight that Hero talked about is the cornering lamps. Now, Hero calls it Hero Intelligent Cornering Light. How do they work? We tried testing them in the night and uh, while doing uh, the turning maneuvers, the light would light up and go off as it should. But uh, for me, I think they should have been uh, lit up a couple of seconds more when the steering is put back in the straight mode. So whenever the handle is straight again, it goes off, cuts off in almost immediately. So in cars, it takes about a couple of seconds for the light to go off, which is really good. Ideally, the cornering lamps should have been a little wider, could have been given a little more uh, wider visibility. They, have, they would have worked like a charm. But nonetheless, uh, this feature is available on the scooter. It's not available on any other. So yes, the feature is there. You do get, scooter does benefit from it and the overall visibility also increases. To sum up, this is a very sporty scooter. So the 110cc segment was missing on a sporty uh, scooter and this kind of fills up uh, that space. And uh, uh, the design might be a little quirky, a little funky for uh, some of you all, but this targets the youth and uh, the youthful side of you will probably like this overall sporty design. Also, it has been priced very well, starting at 68,700x showroom and while the price is introductory, it's a very good price. So, if you are planning on buying a 110cc scooter, you should definitely uh, test ride this and give it a try. Now, the scooter is available in five colors. The color that you saw in the video is the Polestar Blue. You also get a sports red, a black, a pearl silver white, and a matte Abrax orange. Now, the Hero Zoom is available in three variants. Uh, the base variant is LX, the mid variant is VX, and the top variant is a ZX. The LX gets sheet metal uh, wheels, VX gets cast drum, and the ZX gets cast disc. All of the variants will get projector headlamps, the signature H-shaped positioning lamp and the H-shaped LED lamp, uh, LED DRL on the front. The LX gets the Digi analog meter, the VX gets a fully digital uh, meter with amber LCD, while the ZX, like you saw in the video, gets a fully digital with blue LCD. All the scooters will give you real-time mileage, low fuel indicator, uh, while the LX misses out on the i3S and the wider rear tire as well. The rear tire on the LX is 90 by 90 section. The USB charger and the boot light is available as an accessory on the base LX variant. Also, the features that are exclusive to the ZX are the uh, Hero Intelligent Cornering Light, Bluetooth connectivity, the diamond cut alloy wheels and the front disc brake. So that was the Hero Zoom uh, 110cc scooter for you. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, if you like the video, if you found value in it, hit the like button uh, and subscribe to Motoroids if you haven't already. Press that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload our next video. This is Whipple signing off. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, rev hard, rev free and ride safe.